Welcome back to beautiful Antigua. This week we're making our way south to English Harbor and stepping back in time, exploring Lord Nelson's Dockyard, Fort Berkeley, and fumbling our way up to Shirley Heights Lookout for an epic sunset and local cookout. We made it! <laughs> I don't know how, but we made it. <laughs> crazy little anchorage we're in, isn't it? So crazy. And our GPS is malfunctioning and it's driving us crazy. We're not trusting our anchor alarm too much, but there's not room for air. You can see we are tight in here. So, because I got T-Rex arms, the lady's going in. It's hard for me to get in and out of the boat right now. Go get him, tiger. <laughs> Good. Dug in sand. Nice. The shovel's dug in. The shaft is out, but the shovel's dug in good, so it should stay. Yeah. I love that. Uh, Alright, good work, babe. We're in. We can rest easier. Well, if that thing gives us an anchor alarm again, I'm throwing it out of the boat. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. crazy looking stuff. It's like such a uh, exposed point that they have this on and man it just looks wild. Just the way that they built all these stone walls and stuff. They're perfect squares too. It's crazy. Fort Berkeley was built on the rocky peninsula that forms the west side of the entrance to English Harbor. Originally, the fort would have mounted 25 cannons, each firing a 24-pound iron shot, requiring a crew of 13 men to work each gun. Today, the remains of the fort include the powder magazine, the guardhouse, and then the defense walls. This is an awesome place to walk around and see some history. Yeah, no kidding. 
What do you think so far? This is a really neat fort, actually. It's uh, interesting to see that it's not built out of all the same stone. It's many different types that they've brought in for all of this, which is something you don't usually see. It's usually just the local. The history of this whole um, place is unreal too. The whole dockyard and everything where Lord Nelson came in with his fleet and kept them here. I mean, it's a big, huge hurricane hole in here too. So all of their big ships, I can't even imagine what that would look like to see all those tall ships in here. It would have been amazing. And we're anchored right in the middle of history right here. Can you see? Nelson's Dockyard is a cultural heritage site and arena in English Harbour. It's the only continuously working Georgian era dockyard in the world, built in the early 18th century by the British Navy. Today it's part of a national park and home to some of Antigua's many sailing and yachting events. This well protected hurricane hole houses a magnificent marina for some truly exquisite vessels visiting the area. Oh, so these guys just are coming in right now to the finish. To Antigua, sailed, er, paddled the toughest row right across the Atlantic. It's unbelievable. The world's toughest row brings together teams from all walks of life, united by the same objective, to take on the unique challenge of crossing an ocean in a rowboat. The teams battle with sleep deprivation, salt sores, and physical extremes inflicted by the race. Rowers are left with their own thoughts, an expanse of the ocean, and the job of getting the boat safely across to the other side. Each team will row in excess of 1.5 million strokes during a race. The waves that the rowers experience can measure up to 20 feet high. Rowers burn in excess of 5,000 calories per day. The average rower loses about 18 pounds during a crossing. Temperatures range from as low as 10 degrees during the night and approach well into the 30s with humidity as they finish. Unbelievable. This is so cool to be here for this, to actually witness one of these boats coming in. It's, oh, it's amazing. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. They have been just outside the island for three days, seeing the lights of the island of beautiful Antigua and Barbuda. Very technical weather has caused them to wait it all out on Paranga, but here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's pop some flares and give a warm welcome to Intrepid 232. Woo! Thank you very much. 
Jiri asli jantus. Welcome to Antigua. Alison, can you do wobbly? And Helen, with the French flag, family here as well. Give it up, guys, for Intrepid 2K2. So the age of all of these ladies added up to 232. The one lady had her birthday on board, but their average age is over 50 years old, and they just did 3,000 miles of the Atlantic in a rowboat. That's amazing. And you have to think of the weather that we've all been through in the last little bit, and they came across the Atlantic. Wow, it's were, amazing. We just rode out a storm for the last three days, Ladies and they were and stuck on offshore. And that seemed like a lot. Yeah. So this is the start of the trail called the the lookout trail. So look out. So we just finished some uh, little bit of beach time down in the bay. And then this right out of the bay is this trail called the lookout trail that goes up to Shirley Heights. Where twice a week they have a big barbecue and you hike up there for sunset. So we're on our way up there to have a nice dinner, barbecue. But the thing about Shirley Heights was it was the last resort. So, sorry, I'm out of breath already. If the fort over here got overtaken, the plan was to go up to Shirley Heights and that was the last resort to protect this area of Antigua, which is gonna be cool. There's some history up there too. Cool. Here we go. This is earning your dinner is what I'm gonna call this. <sighs> Some hazardous stuff in the middle of the night coming back. I think we got lights, right? Lots of lights. That's good. That's always us. Yep. Cool hike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. So cool that uh, we're, we might actually get a good sunset. We've been saying all day it's too bad it's so overcast earlier today that we were gonna go do this because it's supposed to have a spectacular view of the sun going down. So and it's cleared up and beautiful and we're hiking through this jungle here what we call this jungle air plants and cactuses and <laughs> it's really pretty nice breeze in here but we can hear steel drums playing off in the distance so we're getting closer that's very cool this is awesome to go. Wow. Gorgeous. Time to duck into the bushes real quick and get cleaned up for dinner. Amazing. Big bag of ice behind you. Watch out. Big bag ice. Heights is one of Antigua's best historical sites. It's on the southern coast of the island, and the site was once operated as a military lookout and gun battery. It's a great spot to take in the scenic views of the island and enjoy good food and live music. It was an awesome hike up there, and we were so lucky to have a great sunset. Fingers crossed the walk back down in the dark doesn't kill us. What the hell are we doing? Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, we just kept clamoring over rocks down this trail now. It's stupid. Yeah, we could have taken a taxi. We don't do that 
Gotcha. No. Nope. Crazy. You got it? Yep. <laughs> Join us next week as we move north up the island and discover some beautiful beaches along the way.